Down on Blitz for our next interview, we welcome Commerce Tigers wrestling coach Kendall Love. Coach Love, thanks for being on Blitz today. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, you just wrapped up your first traditional title since uh, 1990, uh, combined to also win the duels this season. Um, five individual state champions. Has it really hit you yet how unbelievable this season has been for you? I'll tell you, it, it did take a while. Uh, probably since we, we hosted the tournament, uh, it, everything's a little chaotic on Sunday trying to get the you know, broke back down. But I, I would say Monday morning it really hit me on, on the uh, success we've actually had this season. And, uh, you know, the kids worked hard all season for it. And, uh, uh you know, the ball bounce in their favor at the end. We had a great state tournament and a great season overall. And uh, what did you tell your guys? I'm kind of interested. After you won the duels, um, what you know, what did you tell them to kind of keep them focused on also wanting to go out and take traditional? Uh, we, we had a heart to heart on Monday. I came back in on Monday, and I could tell by looking at them they uh, they celebrated a little too much over the weekend. They all had real fat faces and uh, that type of thing. And, yeah. Uh, I just, yeah, I better have the talk before practice than after practice. But, uh, you know, I just let them know that the season wasn't over. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of anticlimactic to win the duels tournament and turn around and, and not win the traditional. So um, we refocused. We went live the whole day on Monday, an hour and a half, and that kind of um, was a wake-up call for them as well. You know, I'm sure they were not expecting a live practice the day after the state tournament. But, um you know, they, they refocused well, and, and we got back to work, and, and it all worked out for us. And now going to the traditional tournament, the, the final there was 222.5 to 131.5, so it wasn't really even close. Um, what was that like? You mentioned getting to play that in the home gym, uh, the way that it just turned out with the, the snow hitting and having to delay everything. Uh, what was that like to play that in the home gym instead of the the big arena in front of the home crowd? I mean, that was had to be pretty special. Um Especially when you guys found out that you would be able to do that. Yeah, it was very special. You know, the guys were disappointed when they found out, number one, that the state tournament was not going to be at the arena. But number two, they just, uh, you know, added to that was the fact they had a, an extended season. The guys had been cutting weight and they were tired and we had a brutal schedule. Uh, but when I told them that next day at practice that we were actually going to get the host, you could kind of see the smiles come on their face and that that added as extra motivation for us that practice that week. Um, you know, state tournament came, and, and we had a great first round. We won 12 out of 13 matches in the first round and kind of distanced ourselves from the field. And, and from that point on, it was ours to lose, you know. And uh, the guys who kept wrestling well all day, and, and we ended up winning almost 100 points. So that was just a phenomenal tournament for those guys. Yeah, and uh, speaking of, of being a phenomenal tournament for some of those guys, uh, no more um – importance for Chance McClure. I mean, a four-time state champion. It was only fitting that he was the final Tiger to come out there and wrestle in the 220 and solidify that win for you. Uh, of course, he's going to go on to wrestle at uh, Virginia. Um, one of 26 guys ever to win four straight titles. Um, will you ever coach another Chance McClure? That's hard to say. You know, Chance is, uh, is a probably, and I've said this before, once in a lifetime type type athlete you get the coach he, he's kind of a throwback athlete and he works hard every day he uh, uh he, he's tough as nails um he leads by example um it, it was great to have him you know our last tiger wrestler at the state tournament in our home gym winning the sports state championship um he's well deserving and there's no doubt he's gonna go on and have a great career at the university of virginia and what was that like, being able to see him go go out like that in the spotlight, as you said, in front of the home crowd, 191 and two overall record. Uh, what was that? What was that? Those emotions like, you know, when you were watching him wrestle that final time. It was pretty emotional. Um, you know, like I said, the kid when I came here, he was in fifth grade, and you know, I knew then he was the type of kid you could build a program around. Um, so, uh, you know, seeing him mature and grow up and work hard and, and accomplish his goals uh, was just awesome and kind of all came to a head in that one match. You know, and the match didn't last very long. Um, uh, you know, I just tried to cherish the, the time I had with him right there in that, that match and the moments thereafter, right thereafter. And, and uh, um, you know, he's going to be one that will be missed greatly by not only the uh, wrestling program here at Commerce, but the whole community at Commerce will miss him. 
right? Now, you know, even even with his departure, um, which which you know is going to be tough for sure. Uh, you just again, you got your first ever duels title and the first ever sweep for Commerce. Uh, most state champs in school history. This you know happened this season, but uh, you still you got to feel good about what you've done with this program and the future about it as well, right? I do. I tell you, when we came here uh, seven years ago, we decided to, uh, you know, a goal of mine was, was to build it from the ground level up, and we've done that. And in doing that, it takes some time. You know, we were very intentional with those young kids and, and uh, you know, getting the, the right coaches down there for them and, and putting a lot of time and effort into them. And, and it takes a while, though, for them, those guys to get up to the high school level. And we're to the point now where uh, they're, they're just now starting to filter in. And, um uh, we had four senior stars this year. Everybody else is back. We had two stars get hurt this year that could even wrestle the state tournament. So we get those two guys back, and then uh, we've got an influx of, of five or six really tough freshmen coming in. So it, it feels good. The future looks bright for us. We just got to keep working hard and realize, you know, now we're the ones with the, the bulls on our back. Yeah. And, um, you know, we can't let down now because everybody's gunning for commerce. It's a role we're not used to, but we certainly enjoy being yeah. in that role. Definitely. Well, Coach Love, again, I appreciate your time. Uh, again, I'm also so thrilled for you guys and what you've been able to accomplish this season, and, and I hope to see you guys repeat next year. I appreciate it. Thanks for all y'all do. I appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Still plenty ahead on Blitz, so don't change that channel.